Good morning, everyone. This is a 20-year-old uh, male, myope. He's got about minus 3 power with a small cylinder, 0.75 cylinder in the right eye and a 2.5 uh, with a 0.75 in the left eye. And you can see what I'm doing now is taking the applanating cone down. It's uh, He's asked to look at the green light. And what he does is basically nothing else other than look at the green light. And then you take the cone down. Now, this is a convex cone. So, it's uh, very, very cornea friendly. It's got a concave surface, I mean. It's got a concave applanating surface. And you can see that I have gone down on his cornea and I'm going to activate suction. So, once suction is activated, you can see that it's a well-centered uh, uh, applanation. And now, we are going to fire the laser. At this point of time, there should be no movement by the patient at all. This is the 30 seconds where he needs to be absolutely still. This is the posterior lenticular cut that can be seen right now. The side cut, which is seen now, and the cap. Now, this is the anterior cut. So, the femtosecond always cuts from posterior to anterior. This is the anterior cut that's being made now. And that's the last mile incision, which is, you can see, uh, just a 2 millimeter incision. Suction's off now. So, that's all there was. It's about a 23 second or 22 second treatment. And once the laser has been done, now it's time to uh, remove the lenticule. So, you have different options. You can do it uh, from between 4 millimeters to 2 millimeters the in entry incision. Zoom up, please. And uh, now, uh, basically, the patient needs to look at the light above. And once we've got the cornea into clear view, you can see now <coughs> that this is the smile incision. Can you look at the cornea? So, this is the entry incision. And I'll just get into clear focus. There it is. It's just a 2 millimeter incision here. So, I've just opened up the 2 millimeter incision and now I'm going to go and do the anterior dissection. So, that's just making way for myself anteriorly, a route for me to enter once again later. And this is posterior. I've gone posteriorly now. And once I've done that, I've created that route for myself. What I do is, I take this, which is a Donenfeld uh, dissector, and it's got the curvature of the cornea. And what I do is just go there and dissect the cap. So, what I'm doing now is dissecting the anterior surface, which is the cap. And you can see that that's the dissection of the cap completed. And now I'm going to go posteriorly. And this is the second dissection plane which is for the lenticule and the posterior dissection is always a little uh, a little uh, you know it's a, uh, more more difficult than the anterior but you can see here it's going also very smoothly and once you've dissected this lenticule it's time to remove it from the eye this is bent out of angle yeah this is the one i prefer normally so here it is so it's got a better contour and once it's caught need to make this rexus like movement so that it gets torn from the edges as well and there it is so that's the lenticule that has been dissected one drop saline please and once you have got it out what you need to do is give me a yeah there it is so once you open it up you can see i'll just get into focus one second I'm not sure if it's uh, clearly visible there, but I'll move it and then you'll be able to see the circular contour all around. And that there is the small lenticule which has come out. Now, we just check the interface to see that it's completely clear. You can see I'm just going to focus on the incision. And you can see this is a small little 2 millimeter incision. There's not even an epithelial defect. So, when the patient comes out, he's very, very comfortable. Check the incision, check the uh, interface. And uh, we don't generally wash the interface because then you might introduce some of the sebaceous secretions into the interface and you don't want that. There's nothing that's gone in there other than the uh, instruments. So, it's a nice clean interface. And now we just put a drop of antibiotic and that's basically the end of the surgery.